Well, you guys know that Steve and I went to Chile to see a uh, total eclipse, so we like the uh, the stars and ast astronomy as much as just about anybody. So I'm here with Corey Lee of uh, Celestron, right. and you've got an interesting product here. Why don't you tell us about it? Yes, we do. So what we have here is the world's first smartphone-driven auto-locating telescope. So well, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is actually going to drive from the phone. Well, yes, the phone will actually provide guidance for you. You point out everything up in the sky. So now you can simply move it and follow the arrow that is on the screen. And once, once the arrow shortens enough, you hit the objects and then you tell you that there, you see in the eyepiece, take a look at it. Oh my gosh, so we have, we have an audio, audio audience as well, so I'm going to describe this. So on the iPhone, he's looking at the stars in, a, uh, in an app, obviously, that is seeing it. Right. That's not actually, the telescope is not seeing the stars right now because we're inside. Th that's absolutely right. So what we have done here is basically because we're indoor, we create a little demo mode. Um, so what's happening is I'm going to move it away from the target for a second. And now there's bright orange arrows saying right. this is where you want to go because that's what you said you wanted to be at Delta Piscium. So ba basically, um, there, for every night, based on the information from the phone, you know, the GPS information, time, location, so you, you, you will give you a list of objects that are the best objects to look at under the sky for that night. Okay, so, so we see the moon, Messier uh, 39, double cluster, NGC 869, one of my all-time favorites. Great, if that's one of your all-time <laughs> favorites. Let's see if, if, uh, if the demo mode will actually, if the, all the time and everything it works out right. city viewable. So let's, uh, I just oh. click on double cluster. And now it says locate right. on so, the phone. So with this, the, the app itself will actually give you all the information of the object you're looking at, as well as providing a little bit of multimedia clip, a little... Uh, uh, um, audio clip to t give you more information oh, about so the object. It's like having an astronomer with you, it's telling you exactly. why this is cool? Exactly, and an astronomer that's actually built into the app of the, of the smartphone. Now, once you're done with the information, you want to actually want to take a look at what object that looks, what it looks like, right? So simply press this locate button. Here, I'll, I'll get it from there here. I go. got a better angle for you. There you go. All right. Oh, so now we see arrows on screen and a lot of the constellations, and we can now start moving the telescope that is, manually. That is correct. So the app itself, through the use of all the sensors, as well as the camera, so the camera of the phone is actually pointing at the mirror, which is actually looking at the same sky that your telescope is pointing oh, at. Oh, no way. Okay. Because all the sensors itself, it helps, but then it's not accurate enough. For the type of accuracy you need for astronomy, you really need to do um, what we call plate solving, which is just pattern recognition, recognizing the star pattern up in the sky. Mm -hmm. And then once it does a bunch of calculations, and then you figures out what it's pointing at. So after he does that, now he's telling us you are that far away from the double cluster. So you can simply just Start follow rotating. the arrow. Oh, I think oh. I went the wrong direction. Uh oh, we're going to try to go straight up. Yeah, we so might have picked the wrong cluster. That's the problem with the demo mode, right? <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick something else. Yeah. Just so that, let's uh, pick something we can actually get to. Right. So let's see if we... Messier 39. 39. Yeah, that seems like a fine choice. So All right, so now we can go to works. the side here. All right. So... Are you moving towards it or farther away? Uh, so it looks like it might be pretty far away, so it may <laughs> seem like it's not doing much. I will... We're going in a circle okay. around... <laughs> this is a challenge, challenging video. Okay. We're going in a circle around it. it looks okay. like it's exactly 180 degrees. That's why it's giving us the little funky thing. Okay. So I'm going to go fast toward that side, so maybe the camera can meet right, me on we'll the other end. We'll catch up on the other side. All right. All right, we're spinning around. He's uh, getting the arrows to line up there. Oh, there it is. Now it's coming okay. Oh, okay. Now we can see it. Right. So the arrow. Is that's actually a better shorter. demo, by the way, because that's what you need to know how it actually works, right? Perfect. Now the and arrows are getting closer together or farther apart here. The arrow is getting shorter. That means you're getting closer. Okay. Right. So as you get closer to it, you actually start zooming in and showing you more of what you are oh. eventually going to be looking at. Yeah, each as we're inching closer and closer, it's it's zooming in as we go. That's nifty. Exactly. Uh, notice that uh, the crosshair just turned yellow. So what that means is it had actually captured images of the sky and then figured out what it's pointing at. When it's red, it's not quite sure where it's at yet. It's just using all the sensor information. But once it's turned yellow, it knows where it's at. So what that means is you 
you keep going, you keep going, and you turn green. So what, that, what does that mean? When it turns green, it turns green, that means the object is now in the, in the eyepiece. Oh, if you put your eye wow. to the eyepiece, you'll see it. As simple as that. This as is simple as very, that. very cool. So this is an attachment that's on a uh, the StarSense Explorer LT. Is that part of the, you buy a telescope with this mount, or do you retrofit, or? But, um, right, so it's all built in as one system. So what we really want to do as we introduce this groundbreaking technology is to provide a very controlled product for everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. So we want to have a very good experience for the end users. Retrofit so, would be really problematic, I would think. At least at the very beginning. So we wanted to make sure that everybody has a good experience at first. So we decided to have a uh, product that is completely integrated with the dock. We have con we have tried everything, including all the calculations regarding different IP system magnification. We know that it works, and here we are. We're selling the complete product without the phone, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So this is called the StarSense Explorer LT, and it's, it's from Celestron. Exactly. It's uh, it was made by Celestron. Celestron has been around for about 60 years. We're introducing two lines of new StarSense Explorers. Both got the same features with the built-in app. Uh, dock for the phone. Um, one is called uh, StarSense Explorer LT, and we have another line which is bigger, better, and it's got a little bit more control and more sturdy. It's called a StarSense it Explorer like a bigger... DX. Oh, sorry, StarSense no Explorer D DX. Yes. That's a that's a larger mirror, right? That's a larger mirror. It's also a larger mount with slow motion control, so it will give you a even better experience using it. Well, this is very cool. Uh, when are these going to be available? These are actually available immediately for shipping. Nice, and what's your price point on these two models here? Now, here's the, here's the thing. We wanted to make sure that we want to make astronomy accessible for everybody. So we make it, we have all this technology built in, so now that you can help you find everything up in the sky, so easy, right? Everything's so easy. But then we also want to make sure that it's affordable. So that's one way to do it. Just use leverage what you have already spent money on. Everybody's got a smartphone. So let's let the smartphone do the heavy lifting. So with all that said, these are actually very affordable products. The DX goes for about $400, $399. And, and, and how big is that telescope? This is a 114 millimeter okay. Newtonian. And how many in the inches? four and a half. Four and a half inches. Okay. And this is a um, 80 LT. millimeter. The, the LT, LT is 80 millimeter? Okay. Right, 80 millimeter. Um, so we have a refractor, we have a reflector, two different favors. Right, right. And how much is the Explorer XT? This or is, LT, sorry. This is about $180. Wow, that is fantastic. That's this right. is very cool, and we can find these at celestron.com, C E L E S T R O N.com, correct? That is correct. It's right, on our thank website. You. Thank, thank you. you very much for your time, Corey. Thank you.